How's it going, everybody, and welcome to my Super Mario Maker 2 Direct Reactions. So, obviously, it's a bit later than when this Direct actually happened. Um, so, I was a bit busy when the Direct happened, and Survivor had its finale tonight, so I've been watching that. But now I can finally sit down, watch this Direct, see what Mario Maker 2 has in store, and also react to it. So without any further ado, I'm probably just gonna get into it, and I'm probably not gonna do many edits either. So, no highlights, just a straight up reaction. Let's do this. Alright, so we have Mario placing blocks, and Luigi. Okay, let me turn this down a little bit, because I don't trust it to be... I don't trust it to not overshadow my lovely voice, because that's what you all come here for. Stack of Goombas. Super Mario Maker 2. Uh, you, you said it for me. Thank you, announcer. Okay. Oh, so it's like a big overview direct. Okay. Oh, I'm making Mario out of blocks and coins. That's cool. Oh, we're getting an actual look at... Okay, so it's similar to the first game. Like, the... UI is practically the same. Ooh, the Jungle 3D World theme. Nice. Alright, the basics. Make. Shouldn't be too different from the first game, right? Oh, they're just actually going over everything. So I guess this is more so for the new people that never played the first game? Because if you've played Mario Maker before, you should know all of this. So this is just a general overview. Alright. You decide what goes inside blocks. Yes, Super Mushroom. We can go underground. Everything looks a lot more polished than the first time we saw the game, though, so that looks good. Everything looks more upscaled. Put enemies in the blocks. Stack them, yes, of course. Red pipes. I think we've seen the red pipes before, just like we've seen Red Yoshi. Okay. Yeah, most of these things aren't in regular Mario games, but that's the beauty of Super Mario Maker. You can build something completely different than you wouldn't see. Game styles are all the same, of course. And the backgrounds. I should have said backgrounds first and the game styles. The only new thing is 3D World, at least that we know of. There could be DLC ones or something. Okay, you need Nintendo Switch Online to upload courses. That might sour people on this, but it's not gonna sour me. I already have Nintendo Switch Online. New, and there's the Angry Sun. Okay. Ooh, you can slope conveyor belts? Ooh. That might be interesting. Okay. Shot from the first introduction trailer. That's new. Everyone's greatest the Angry Sun. <laughs> oh yes, everybody's favorite character, the Angry Sun. Snake blocks. Ooh, Winter Stage. I mean, we've seen that in um, I think the 3D World style. We saw the Winter Sky on off switch. We know about this. Is there anything extra that's new that we don't know about yet? I wonder. I mean, this was- this has been a general overview so far. Ooh, we can make puzzles. Ooh, that might be cool. Building puzzles using the on-off switch. Ooh, it would even works on conveyor belts, too. Ooh, okay, so we are getting new stuff. Seesaw. Okay. And you can put them on a track as well. Nice. Swinging claw. Really? Mario can even use these okay. flying. Cool. Bet you could even make a crane game. Yes, we could make crane games. Wow, uh, people are going to definitely make a lot of those. Water level. water level, we've seen this before that maybe you can adjust the water level. Okay. Or maybe the water level should change over time? Yes. You can select from three different speeds. Ooh. And water oh, that's so cool. You can change its with. speed too. And lava. Nice. Wait. Wait, what's... It's even there, too. I saw the dry bones, and now there's coins. You have custom goals you can do for each stage? Can you do custom goals in each stage? The auto... The custom scroll, rather. 
You can go up. Okay, we saw that as well earlier. Vertical sub- ooh! Okay! Vertical sub area is nice. This is this is gonna be a neat feature. Scroll stop. Ooh! Oh, that's cool! You can stop. That's neat. I really like that. That's that's real nice. Bonsai Bill. We've seen Bonsai Bills before in the 3D world style. Okay, you can change the direction as well. Homing, of course, because the other bullet bills have them. Dry bone shell. What? You're invincible to lava and fire? What? That's weird. <laughs> that dry bone skull is gonna be a bit weird for online stuff. It's gonna make courses interesting, I think. Especially if they brought back the um the 100 Mario challenge. New on-screen sound effects and stuff. Boom Boom! Have we seen Boom Boom before? Ooh, I like that one. I like that screen thing. Co-op. A lot of people figured that co-op was gonna be in the game. Here it is confirmed. You can build in co-op. That's actually really cool. Yes, custom clear conditions. Okay. This, oh, there's gonna be a lot of interesting course ideas with this goal system. The clear conditions, rather. That's neat. That's really neat. Twister, of course, we've seen the Twister before. Icicles. I saw icicles earlier, but I didn't really think about that. Diagonal. <laughs> That's so weird. Yes, Red Yoshi's in the game. Parachutes. Noticed those before as well. And Boom Boom, finally confirmed, even though we saw him already, technically, in that earlier shot. And there's still more to discover. What? If you're not sure how Odyssey? You're thinking, try out story mode. Story mode? In story mode, Mario sets out to help rebuild Princess Peach's castle. What? So he'll face an Chief? Worth of courses and Toadette is named Chief? Talk to Taskmaster? To accept a job from the bulletin board and play the associated course. If Mario can clear the course, he'll earn coins as a reward. There is a story mode in Mario Maker? More than 100 original courses crafted by Nintendo in story mode. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, wait, is, why is that even there? But, okay, so it's like the, um, it's basically like Super Mario Maker 3DS's courses. Like, clear worlds. Okay. Oh my god, it's in 3D. Oh my god, Undo Dog and the Eraser look so weird. Those look so weird. Course themes. Ooh, look at that, with the angry sun in Super Mario Bros. Desert. Okay, so we've kind of seen these before, kind of in little glimpses, and even early magazine shots in Japan, or advertisements or whatever. But we actually get to see them in action. That's really nice. Oh, the original composer came back. Nice. Of course, he's known for Mario, so you might as well bring him back. The moon. The moon? Oh, that was such a cute sound effect. Day becomes night. Huh? If you hit the angry sun, Mario will lose a life. But if you hit the moon, you'll wipe out a screen full of enemies. Nighttime stages and the moon clears enemies out of the Was that upside down? Oh my god, look at Boom Boom in that art style. Wow. You actually have night themes for each of and mechanics for each of the different styles. Floating Goombas upside down, free fall, gravity. The desert has a sandstorm at night. Snow is all slippery. Ooh. Poison water in the forest, that's... Rotten mushroom? What? You don't have to place the moon course part to use them. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. I like that. 3D extra game. Why is there an extra slot next to the 3D world thing for game styles? Nintendo. Are you going to release DLC for that? And how much is it going to cost? Oh, no. What theme could it be, though? Honestly. 
Like, what could they even do? Um, I think I said this in a discussion on game, but they could maybe do one of the Game Boy games? Maybe? Black and White? Yeah, <laughs> Super Mario Black and White, no. Um, Mario Land? Maybe they could do a game style for Mario Land? Look at the... I really love the 3D world style. This looks so cool. Like, just seeing the 3D turned into 2D like this? So weird. Crates. Oh, and you can... Oh, that is so neat. You can use crates to make... And it works in lava? Really? Warp boxes are in this game, too? Okay, so now we have... We have pipes that can lead us to sub-areas, and now we have warp boxes for extra stuff. But I think this is only in the 3D World one? That seems a little weird. I kind of get it, because there are many different things that are different about 3D World. But, like, it's weird to see that... Oh my god, they have the blinking blocks? Actually, that's their official name, I didn't even know that. Ooh, making courses with these blocks are gonna be very fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Track block? Ooh, the fire uh, sumo bro. Oh man, I'm really loving the 3D world style. I'm really loving this 3D world style. This might be the one I use a lot in Mario Maker 2. And of course you can jump on them, I figured that. Skip Squeak. Oh yeah, that is their name, I forgot that was their name. Okay, so there will be... Wait, was that the Super Nintendo logo? Why did the Super Nintendo logo appear there? What? <laughs> did, how does that make any sense? I, I don't know. But uh, the key artwork featured a, a Koopa Troopa in the car, so people were trying to figure out what that means, but it means Mario can drive a car. And Pom Pom is in the 3D World style. Makes sense, because Pom Pom is, has a unique thing with the 3D World style, with the Ninja Stars. Bonsai Bill, we saw, we saw this in the uh, reveal trailer. Oh man, I really love this. I really love this style. This looks so cool. And you can do the custom Meowser fights! Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Nintendo Switch Online. Story Mode, Course World, and the Course Maker. Course's Leaderboards Network Play? And Endless Challenge. Oh boy. <laughs> I wonder what those are gonna be like. Of course, we're- I wonder if we will learn about them. Maybe they'll leave some stuff off for E3. I mean, it is a 15 minute direct. How long has this been going on? How long have I been recording? Couple minutes? Oh, okay, so there's like five minutes left of this direct. Comments. So, com basically this is bit. Wait, there's a boo button now too? <laughs> And you can leave custom things. Oh, hey, it's not Meverse. You can leave not Meverse comments. It looks like. Oh, offline play. That's nice. That's nice. Maker profiles. It looks like the UI is a lot more like polished this time around because of all the extra stuff that's in here. Maker points. So instead of just medals, you get maker points, and also you can have custom stuff like cat outfit. <laughs> And poses. So this is this is the new 100 Mario Challenge thing, except you have it endless. Okay. Ooh, and there's global rankings for that too. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Network play four people. Ooh, can you do multi? Play together multiplayer. Oh my god, look at Toad and Toadette in the little art styles! Oh my god. That's so amazing. Also, apparently Toadette's now like a major character in the Mario universe, because Toadette, because of Peachette, and now this. Also, Yellow Toad is dead. <laughs> now it's Blue Toad. <laughs> they could just keep switching between Blue and Yellow Toad for who's the most important Toad color. I think it's Blue because of 3D World. Yeah, it has to be blue because of 3D World. Wouldn't make sense to be yellow because of that. This is cool. So you can play courses and compete against each other. Neat. This is cool. I like this. I really, really like this. 
Oh, that's so cool. Ooh. Custom. Ooh. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good. Oh my god, look at Toad and Toadette with their Tanuki suits, their leaves. Oh my god, that's so cool. Wow. That's a nearby play. Okay, okay, you can do local co-op or online. Good. For a second, that concerned me. For a second, I was like, wait a second, did they talk about playing together only to say it's local? That would be so bad. Multi- I saw that tag earlier on one of the courses. I noticed it, but I didn't say anything. Oh my god, this is so neat. This is really, really cool. I'm, I'm really loving Mario Maker 2. This looks like a really good follow-up. A lot of extra stuff as well, so it's not just like an enhanced port or anything. Looks so... What is with that car? <laughs> Story mode, a car. The on... Ooh, you can play in all of the styles in the 3D in uh, the multiplayer thing. Network play. Ooh, promotions for purchasing the game. Plus Nintendo... It makes sense, because uh, you need Nintendo Switch Online to upload courses. Available for $70, so that's actually cheap. They're selling Nintendo Switch Online... Oh, it's a 12 month? Okay, then that's a really good deal. Because Nintendo Switch Online for 12 months for a single person is uh, 20 bucks, so you're saving $10. Also, what? Nintendo Switch Game Voucher? Available for Nintendo Switch Online people. Buy two vouchers for, 90, for $100. For example, redeem one voucher to pre-purchase Mario, Super okay. Mario Maker 2 and use the other to download Super Smash oh. Bros. Ultimate. Oh, that's clever. You save money. You save $20 if you purchase the vouchers and use them on two games. That's really cool. That's a nice offer. That is really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. That is really cool. Good job, Nintendo. That's that's a really good idea. Of course, you need to be a Switch Online member for it, but still, that's not bad. Yeah, only Nintendo Switch Online members can buy them and redeem them. Yeah, obviously. Wow, that's the first time I've ever seen them advertise you can buy games on like online and on an app. Oh, another tournament? Really? They already have Splatoon and Smash Brothers at E3. June 8th. Wow, they're having three tournaments on June 8th. Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational. Cool. And that's it for the Mario Maker 2 Direct. That was really, really good. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, so, I'm going to end this off here, quickly get this uploaded, because... I really need to get this uploaded. It's already late as it is. Uh, so thank you for watching, and until the next reaction, which is probably going to be an E3 video, catch you later.